Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valinda, I'm a green and happy mom and I'm passionate about teaching you to live as sustainable as possible for you and your family. And if that sounds good to you, hit the subscribe button below and never miss out on my new videos. And today we're making reusable towels. These are toilet paper towels. I'm not here to discuss whether or not this is for you because that's personal. I'll just let you know that they sell pretty well and at the moment I ran out so we're making new ones. Let's go. Okay, reusable toilet paper. Fortunately I'm home alone today and I actually need help folding these large pieces of fabric. So I just have to do which what's possible right now. Okay. So I'm folding it piece by piece. Not ideal, but it works. And that's the point. Okay, okay the pieces are 20 centimeters by 10. So first, 20. Nice. Minimal waste. Exactly 13 sets. So, nice. Is that true? Oh, wow. My brain's not functioning. But we'll see when we cut them further. Um, like I said, they're 20 by 10. And there are two layers. So I do two on top of each other because that way when I cut them the, uh, they're ready to go. I no longer have to find I no longer have to stack them on top of each other and to make life easier because Efficiency. The fabric, the fabric is one meter and ten centimeters, one ten wide, and it shrinks a little. So I can cut exactly ten out of one piece of fabric which is also exactly one set. Okay, I was right, it's as exactly 13 sets. Everything's cut, sewing. Um, because I make a living with a sewing machine, I obviously have a spare one. And I put black thread in it, because re-threading a machine takes a lot of time. Checking if the threading is still good, if because it's been a while since I used it. Let's test one. It's 
Oh, come on, it's a squeaky chair. Feels good. Okay. Principle is the same as for unpaper towels. In this case, the corners are just much closer together and maybe maybe smaller the rounded corners take practice 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 because it may look easy it is not i have been doing this for a few years now and the first ones were laughable But like everything else, if you practice, 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 in the end you'll become better and your, wor your work will be better. Okay, that was the last one. I have to trim the edges. But first, I need to clean this because it's a disaster. So this is what the machine looks like after a lot of black. This is flannel. It's a bit fluffy. So when you cut it, which is what this knife is doing, small dust particles end up in the air. There are probably some black smudges in my face as well because it tickles my face. But first, cleaning this, because this is the outside. Yeah. And this is the inside. Vacuuming first. Now we take some paper tape. And I have a straw here. Then I put my machine on the on very low and then I can suck in all the then I can vacuum in all the small spaces. I just did the corners I couldn't reach and now for the areas closer by I take a brush. It's a uh, makeup brush that I'm not using, at least not for makeup, and then I clean everything that's closer by. But I'm gonna do that with the vacuum turned on because right now I'm just moving dust around and I want it gone. How often do I clean my machine? About uh, during sewing, I put a vacuum through it and then I continue. And when everything is done, I thoroughly clean it like I just did. So yes, I clean it often, but I have to because this machine is making me money. Now we continue with the uh, toilet papers. Okay, quite some edges to trim. What I do is just pulling one of the threads. Well, first detangle it a bit, then giving the longest one a firm pull, the second one, and hopefully I don't break it like I just did, and then I Cut it short. Why don't I just cut it? Well, that 
if I don't, I, I boop, 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 by pulling the threads, I make a knot that stops the fraying of the threads. And if I don't, it is possible that uh, that it will fall apart or that the threads will become loose and then the towel can fall apart and we don't want that I want to offer you quality so I have to put a little bit more time into it by giving it a decent pull the other one and then trimming it short and as you can see I have 13 sets each set has 10 and that means 130 I need to do but it's okay I brought my entertainment I have my iPad here can I do that okay? No. And I'm gonna check if there's a nice show on Netflix that I haven't watched yet, so. This was 10, right? Yes, 10, or one then. Okay, that was the last one. Yeah, I made some counting errors because each pile should be 10. And the last one's 8. Meaning I have to recount everything. Because the set is 10. So let's recount. Now each set is 10 and um, let me apply snaps to one set so I can show you how it's working. Snaps, clean up a bit. Now applying the towels to each other. I do. You don't really need one, but it's just easier you can roll it onto something similar with the larger towels kitchen towels it's easier to roll when you have something to roll onto and obviously snaps are optional there are I sell a lot of them without snaps they just stack them on top of each other works as well so this is what it looks like it's just now it just looks like black toilet paper thank you so much for watching this video I hope you liked me making some on toilet paper or on paper towels for toilet paper doesn't really matter how you want to call it and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and hope to see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.